it's Jen. You've made it to August Favorites 2013. I've got a lot of stuff. Not really. I have a moderate amount of stuff to share with you. So let's begin with number one. As much as I've always wanted to be part of the whole arm candy movement, aka just stacking a bunch of bracelets on your arms, I had never really been an active member because Bracelets were something I never really gravitated towards. It's, I've always wanted to get into it, but I realized I kept losing everything because I didn't have proper storage for my bracelets. So now, I thought I'd jump the gun and get a bracelet holder display thing on eBay and it's kind of changed my life in the past two weeks. So this is what happened. Woo! And now I even organize them from gold and silver to the top ones where I pick out the ones that I just naturally pick and like the most. And now I'm really excited to see what my whole bracelet collection is going to evolve into. If you've watched my 50 facts about me tag, you already know that I can smell a photo booth a mile away. And this month in particular, I've been taking so many photos because I've been at places with a photo booth machine. Like Steph, we tore up the elbow room and Dear Mom in San Francisco. And then I had BeautyCon, so they had two photo booth machines, one on industry night and one at actual BeautyCon. I can't wait to kind of put them all in my fridge. I'm gonna do a DIY on what I'm gonna do to kind of revamp your fridge or the exterior of your fridge. So stay tuned for that DIY too, because that should be out sometime next week when my magnet stickers arrive. My next favorite is an old polish that I rediscovered in my nail polish collection. It's crowded by Urban Outfitters and it's kind of just a periwinkle nail color with more of an undertone of purple. I think it goes really well with the slight tan I've acquired over the past two months. So I'm really feeling it. I saw Sammy aka Beauty Crush wear a color similar to this in one of her videos and I think that's what inspired me to kind of paint my nails this way. So thanks Sammy and hi if you're watching. So I have a movie recommendation. It is an old 90s flick called The Fifth Element. It's pretty much a classic but it was my first time seeing it this month and I'm so glad I did because it was incredible. It's a sci-fi film based in the future and the whole universe is coming to an end but there's one hope and it's the fifth element. And what really did it for me was the costume design. Jean-Paul Gaultier designed the entire wardrobe and that explains why it was absolutely impeccable and sexy at the same time. Everyone was dressed amazing, down to the flight attendants, the McDonald workers, to Lilu, duh, especially Lilu. I mean, now I know exactly who I want to be for Halloween, and I've already ordered a portion of my costume online, so I'm really excited. I realized that I needed some shoes that I could just kind of slip in and out of really easily, and a sensible person would have just gotten flip-flops, but I went the extra mile and I got these Doc Martens slash Birkenstocks Fusion. It looks like a Birkenstock, but in the eyes of Doc Martin. I got them in white because I'm in my white shoes phase right now. They remind me of the sandals that my dad wears to the beach, and I love everything about them, down to the fact that they make my feet look huge and wide. Whatever, I think they're stupid comfy and I think they look cool. My last favorite is a book and it is Empire Falls by Richard Russo. This was actually assigned to me my senior year of high school and I never read it. I was definitely one of those kids who just kind of went on spark notes or cliff notes and just kind of regurgitated a Frankenstein of the notes and just things that I would pop out of the book naturally. But anyway, I went to my parents' house in SoCal this month and I saw this book lying around and I thought I'd pick it up because it won a Pulitzer Prize so you know I just thought I'd give it a second chance and I'm so glad I did because it's a really good book to just get lost in. It's about a small town in Maine and the people who live there and you just really really get inside their heads and they kind of just come to life. They're real, they're hypocritical, and most of all, they're relatable. And so the whole character development in this book is just amazing. If I had to pick, my favorite characters would be Mrs. Whiting because she's the boss, and maybe John Voss because he's just kind of the oddball in town. So those were all my August favorites. Once again, this month went by really, really fast. If any of these kind of struck a nerve on you or you want to comment on something, just write it down below. I would love to read it. Or if nothing kind of struck out, you can also just write a normal comment and I would love to read it. If you have an Instagram, my username is imdrenim. You can follow me if you'd like, but if not, it's totally cool as well. So, with that being said, I guess that's it and I'll see you next time. Bye!
Boop.